everyone. So, are you ready to read a story today? Well, I'm sure you are. <laughs> I was just playing with Tida, and I was thinking, you know, I was thinking about cats. They sleep a lot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can you work? Oh, be careful. Something might fall. You don't want anything to fall, right, Tida? Okay. I can't play with you anymore, okay? We'll play later. I have to read another story for our friends today. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Good. You're good. Okay, then. Let's see. This is Read Now, Book One. Right, Tida? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. You can, do you want to play with this? Here you go. Yeah. There you go. Remember to re listen to the story very carefully because it will improve your accent and you'll learn a lot. Good. <laughs> okay, then. So let's start. Let's see. Okay, today we are going to do chapter 5, page 15 The Lion and the Mouse. <laughs> The mouse is small, but the lion is like very big. So let's start. Right, Tida? Good. Good. So let's see. Um, there. In the forest, one day, a lion lay resting. Suddenly, a mouse ran over his back. The lion caught the mouse in one of his big paws. The little mouse begged for mercy. Do not hurt me, she squeaked. The lion took pity on her. He opened his paw and let her go free. Thank you, said the mouse. Someday I will pay you back for your kindness. Next morning, the mouse heard a great angry roar. She knew that the lion was in trouble. She set off at once to find him. The mouse saw that her friend was caught in a trap. She nibbled at the net quickly and cut through the ropes. In a short time, the king of the animals was free again. The lion thanked the mouse for saving his life. The lion then ran away to a safer part of the forest. The end. That was a nice story, right? Mm -hmm.